But now, I want you guys. That focus. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. We did up to here, this F, up to that F, and then we came back down. Now, today we're going to learn a little bit about the alternate fingerings on the saxophone, and we're going to start with the B flat, like we just did how I taught you. This time I want you to go again, and I want you to play from this F up to this C, and then stop, okay? And use the side B flat that we've been, that just talked to you guys, okay? I'll give you a head nod again, we'll go right there, all right? Horns up. <laughs> Not the biscuit. Okay, the biscuit key. You know, get some good food. It's the biscuit though. And when you hold down the biscuit, you're gonna hold down the first. You're gonna do it halfway. Hold down the first and the biscuit at the same time, and that will get you your other B flat. So the first and the biscuit down. The Why can't we just use first and second finger? Because if you need to ever go to A real quick. Oh, I see. Now let's try that again. Let's go all the way up to C this time. We're going to start on that low F we did. But this time, we're going to use that bis key fingering, okay? Okay. Here we go. <laughs>
that side keep better than the this key? Well, well the side, the this, the biscuit key coming down is kind of convenient, but yeah, I think it, not that much more convenient than the side key. So yeah, it's is the way it feels. That's how you feel about that. Okay, but it's, but it's new. So. Pretty much what you're going to use, when you use your bis key, a lot of times your bis key is going to be for when you have to make jumps or something. So when you're doing like that note we started on was the F, when you start from the F, it's a lot easier just to lift up your fingers and go right to the bis key, just keep it on it, and instead of trying to get over here, you don't, have, you don't have to mess with these side keys. Okay? I want everybody to do that. I want the first time, play your F, and we're going to go up the jump to B flat, but you're using your side key though, okay? So horns up. Now this time, use your bis key when you go up to the to B flat, okay? switch back and forth when you're playing that when you're playing your F, you don't have to like lift off the biscuit. You can keep the biscuit down as you're and then you go back down the F. You can keep it already loaded. So that's what the biscuit is for. That's that's your ultimate B flat there. But mostly you use your side, your side key, side B flat. And then there's one other way to play the B flat. And this is one and one. They call this one and one. Your first finger here, put your first finger down your B key right here, first finger down. And then take your other first finger on the other hand and put it down there where the F would be at. So one and one. Oh, it's this one. Yep. One and one. Don't put your biscuit down with this one though. Just this first finger and this one, okay? Alright, I want everybody to play that one. Play it for me right now, that B flat with the one and one. Those are the three B flats. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go on to the F sharp chromatic fingering. So, everybody, finger an F for me. I'm just an F natural how you finger the F. Now, you're going to take your third finger in that hand and put it down on that side key thing right there. On this? Yes, that one. Right there. That one. Like unless you use your regular F sharp fingering, which is just your middle finger, your second finger down. If you do that, it'd be. It's not as clean. If you use the chromatic fingering, it's a lot smoother. Okay, I want you guys to all start on the F sharp, which is that finger I just showed you. Going into your F natural, which is just leaving that finger off, and then back up to that sharp again, all right? There you go. Alright, that's for that one. And now that pretty much takes care of that one. Now I want to, before I move on to the next one though, I want us to play our G major scale. You're going to start. One, two, three, three down for our G, like we were just dealing with our dough earlier. And you're going to do your F sharp going up, just go up to the next G, we're just doing one octave, and play your F sharp with your middle finger, your second finger, play it that way, and then come, and then stop when you get to the high G, and then stop there, okay? I'll just give you a head nod. All right, horns up. 
do for today. Next time, we're going to keep working on some of our major scales, and we're going to work to extend that range of that chromatic scale for the full range of the saxophone. Which actually, for you guys, we only add how many more notes for what we're doing. Five.